you can't tell, I really like Fallout. All right, everybody. E3, day two. Um, not a lot going on. I, Not a whole lot, but we'll quickly run through everything that I found really interesting or stuff I'm kind of curious about. So yeah, let's take a look. To start off with, we had Watch Dogs Legion. I'm kind of curious about this one. Don't really know what's going on. I played Watch Dogs 1, and it was okay. Yeah, it was it, it was okay. Watch Dogs 1, okay, skip the second one. This one, I'm kind of curious. They showed this granny lady kicking ass, and that was kind of funny. But uh, didn't really hook me. I'm not, like, super interested. I like the idea, the premise. So we'll kind of see some more, kind of see if they can hook me. But for right now, I'm going to kind of sit aside on this one. And this wasn't game related, but Mythic Quest, the new TV show from the guys of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I love those guys. They're so funny. So that one, that one looks kind of curious. Um, I don't know why that was at a gaming conference. I mean, it's a show about game development, but it's a fake TV show. So, and the one big one I'm excited for that came out today, Gods and Monsters. It was like kind of a twisted, childish uh, twist on God of War. Instead of killing everything, you're saving everything. And I think that's kind of cool. It's got a fun little art style. Um, I heard it's kind of like a dungeon crawler puzzle game, similar maybe to Zelda. -esque. I really love Zelda, so if it's something like that, that'd be really cool. I'd be interested in that. Looking forward to that one. We'll kind of see what else we can get going, but yeah, that one looks pretty neat. For Ubisoft, that was it. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff, Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six, but I don't, I'm not into that. I don't play those, so if you are, great, good. You got some stuff to look forward to, but me personally, not into it, but if you're into that, awesome, good for you. All right, we got Square Enix. Um, they had a couple stuff I was looking forward to, but really, in the end, there was two things I'm really looking forward to. First off, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Love Final Fantasy. Love, love, love Final Fantasy VII. And they're remaking the seventh one. I'm sure you're aware of it by now. But uh, they released some gameplay, some more stuff, and a re release date. So good stuff to look forward to. Um, coming out 2020. Don't want to wait that long, but yeah, good stuff. Final Fantasy 7 and 8. They got a remake of Final Fantasy 8 coming out. Never played that one, but looking looking forward to that one. It looks pretty cool. <sighs> All right. One everybody's really kind of curious about. Um, I'm so bored of superheroes. I don't care. I haven't seen or done anything superhero. I mean, I played Spider-Man PS4, but if you read my review, I didn't, I didn't care for it. It was okay. But I'm so super heroed out, but Marvel's Avengers, they did a whole release trailer for that. No gameplay. Well, maybe a little bit of gameplay. But mostly reveal trailer. Um, I don't know. I'm curious about it. It looks pretty neat. But like I said, I'm just so super heroed out. I'm so kind of bored of it. But I'll keep my eye on it to see how it looks. And if it looks really cool, I'll check it out for sure. Or maybe I'll just check it out. So I can share my opinion with you guys, so you can make an informed decision as a buying. That was it, E3 day two, not a whole lot going on. A um, couple things, main big one that I've been looking forward to, that they showed was Gods and Monsters. That one looks pretty neat. And then Final Fantasy VII, of course. But uh, still so far, CD Projekt Red, Cyberpunk 2077, that one's caught my eye. I'm super, super invested and I don't want to wait until next April, but I'm going to have to. But don't worry, I'll suffice. So yes, E3 day two, what were you guys excited about? Like I said, a lot of other things I probably didn't talk about, but it's just the things that I'm excited about or things that I thought were interesting. Um, yeah, tomorrow Nintendo, so we'll look forward to that one. I'm super excited to see what they have to say. But yeah, that'll end today, so uh, we'll catch you next time on A Game For Your Thoughts. Thanks, guys.